Sadiq Bey, Kate Cunningham. Uh, ver- this is a very big year for Sadiq Bey. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about that, yeah. but this is a very, very big year for Sadiq Bey. Because as I like to say, and I said this, I'm a big Isaiah Livers guy. Yep. Big Isaiah Livers guy. And he can do a lot of those same things. I'm just saying, he, I know he's a different player, I know he's a different size, but he can do a lot of those things. Dot, dot, dot. You know, this and is the play NBA. better defense. This is the NBA, man. That's how this works, Sean. So, so let's, let's tackle Sadiq Bey first. This year, what do you expect? I think the reality of Sadiq Bey and, and the big thing with pressure on him, to your point, it's not just the fact of, you know, Sadiq's a great shooter, Sadiq's a great scorer, but can he do it on a consistent basis? There's a lot of guys in this league that, on a, that you know, from time to time can put up 22 points a night or put up, you know, crazy 30 40 points but the ones that are really good the ones that you know bring home the big bucks the ones that you know win in this league are the ones that can consistently go out and score on a night to night basis for Sadiq you have to eliminate those games from your calendar where you where you have a box score where it's one of eight or one of nine from the from the, from the field and the other thing too you know the thing that's great about guys like Cade Cunningham is the fact that if the shot's not working he has other aspects of his game and things that he can go to that still affect the team and still brings winning to you know spring brings winning elements to the court so for Sadiq if the shot's not falling what are you doing to help the team win how are you affecting the game beyond just that level so I think for Sadiq you know like to your point Neil you know it's you know for Sadiq in my opinion it's figuring out where exactly he is in the pecking order a lot of people think you know it's like this dynamic duo of Cade and Sadiq and like that's the core that we're building around but the reality of it is is you know if there's an opportunity to bring in someone better or more talented down the road I mean this is a business this is the NBA. Troy Weaver is going to take that opportunity if he can. So I think for Sadiq, it's, you know, we've seen the ability and we've seen the glimpses of being able to create his own offense. And do that on a consistent basis. One other factor with this, from this point forward, not only can he, can he hit a consistent shot, but can he hit a shot with 135 left on the clock or with 25 seconds left in the clock? Because in the NBA, here's the dirty little secret. There's a bunch of dudes that can shoot. But you put them in that same situation. Where you get with, the blame if you miss. Right. Yep. They're like passing it off. That basketball turns into a pumpkin. And it's wobbling all around when they shoot. It misses and it bounces up into the fifth row. So can you take that shot when it matters? Right. Uh, WilbertSports.com chat thread. Mike G says, wait, what? Neil praising a Michigan guy? Mark it down, y'all. Bye. Facts are facts, man. Like, hey, Charles Woodson's one of the top five college football players in the history of college football. Like, ever. Like, ever, 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 ever. 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 